Good morning. It's Deborah Leanne. And I have been wanting to put this out to you for weeks. And I kept going through my perfectionistic, oh, it's not ready. Oh, it's too much. Oh, it's not the right time. I had so many excuses for not putting my voice out there. And it's so funny because that's what I love to teach women to do. So as a proponent of what it means to be a conscious and authentic leader in the world, especially for women who are learning to embrace our own selves so that we are ready to show that true big, huge hearted and big spirited and amazingly beautiful self to the world, I, um, I get to learn some of my own lessons on a regular basis. So what happened was a little, right at a month ago, I'm driving my old van back on a Wednesday night after my volunteer gig for fair shares. And the brakes just felt like they didn't want to stop. I mean, it, I had to push harder and harder to coast to stop signs. So thank goodness it's just a few miles and it was through neighborhoods mostly. Um, so I thought it's time to look for a new car. I've been, I've known that for about a year and it took me, it took me the fear of this car not being drivable to get to the place of, um, knowing that another repair was not what I wanted to do. It was time. It was time. My children had been saying that for the last year or two, and I've been preparing myself for this moment. But see, that old car has so many memories attached to it. I mean, it's it's served me to take my kids. It was the soccer mom car. You know, I would we would do the carpool thing and take a group of kids out to, or pick up from practice and games, and um, it moved my daughters to college. It moved them out, you know, back and forth. It moved um, the guy I was seeing, you know, his daughters in and out of different apartments. I mean, this is a, I loved this van and it was time. So what that brought up for me was so many different feelings. The um, letting go of what no longer fits me or what doesn't meet my needs and leaving behind the stories that that is. And sometimes it's moving from one house to another. Um, sometimes it's leaving behind a relationship or a career path and making that change. And I guess I want to acknowledge what happens when we create change, that it's okay to go through the grief process of what was. Um, so, I had been looking online for the last couple of months, knowing this day was coming this year, um, just to get an idea of what I, what kind of car I was looking for. So I did all kinds of searches. I had done some work on Consumer Reports and Blue Book, and I kind of had an idea what I could get for the budget that I had set for myself. And I knew I wanted something with better gas mileage than my big old van. I knew I wanted something that was... Um, um, cute and sporty and fun to drive. And I knew I wanted something that fit me, but not just fit me now, but would take me forward into who I am becoming. You see, it was very interesting that a little over a month ago, I met with a group of women to plan a leadership, um, a women in leadership event to benefit um, Red Cross women in leadership. And it's being hosted at a large um, company here in town. And it was a big deal for me to be invited to speak at this. And I get down there and we are having the logistics and planning meeting and get to know meet and greet kind of um, meeting to meet with the various different women in leadership in the various um, places within this organization. And what happened was... We did the tour, and I got to see the corporate headquarters and the historic um, buildings around it. And we also got to be um, somewhat familiar with what with what were cultural 
things that were going on within that organization. And it ended up, um, after the tour, we made a full circle. And yet I had left some things at the other side of the campus and needed to get back there. So kindly, the one woman said, well, why don't you just drive me back to my car and I'll get your things for you. And I said, great. So as we get back into my car, I'm so embarrassed. My car is dirty. My car is noisy. The air conditioner isn't as powerful as a lot of the new cars. And I didn't feel that it represented me in a way that I had been representing myself for the last hour and a half to these women in the meeting. And immediately I felt her judgment. Now, I have no idea. She could have been not judging me at all. But my own disconnect with, is this who I am? Is this how I want to represent myself? I'm spending a lot of time driving around in this car. And this is sometimes how people see me. It's the same with our bodies, if you think about it. We represent ourselves. How we show up in the world is represented by our vehicle. And by that I mean our body and what we drive and how we just the energy that we bring forward. Does the energy look like I take care of myself? Not, that's not what my car was saying about me because my car was dirty and filled with, you know, not a lot of trash or food or anything, but it was just not... Um, it was outdated and it was not a good representation for me. And that was a big wake up call. That was where I started to feel the shame and the disconnect between the car and me. So when the brakes showed up not working (laughs) that night and I knew it was truly time for me to make this change, I really wanted to get something that was going to represent me. In, in who I am now and in where I'm going with my life. So online I went and I figured I would go to this local enterprise lot, you know, where the, uh, they have a lot of used cars that had been demos or um, rentals. And I thought they'll have a variety of things for me to drive just to get an idea because I hadn't driven anything else in a long time. And when I did all of the online car assessment things for my price range and put in colors and style of car, you know, what came up was a Fiat. And I thought that was so funny because my housemate drives a Fiat and it's adorable, but I would never have guessed that for myself. The other thing that came up was a Kia Soul. And I'm a Kia fan. I've had this last Kia van for over 16 years. And I thought, well, that might be fun, but I have no idea if they're fun to drive. So I went online and checked what years were good and which ones, if it was um, in my price range, if it had decent gas mileage, if it had a good um, service record, you know, does it, is it reliable? Because that's a big factor for me. And um, put together a short list of what I was willing to look at. So as I go the next morning, I make an appointment to test drive. I, I go out and my car, I have no brakes, literally. So my friend popped me into her Fiat and we drove up to go drive a couple of cars. And that was very interesting in itself because first of all, now I'm feeling the pressure of I have to get a car because I I don't have anything to drive. And I don't like that sales approach sometimes when they know that you're in a a dire straits. And I I didn't, so I was very careful to tell them that I was going to take some time and make my decision, and that I wasn't going to drive away with a car at that moment. And I really enjoyed everything I drove. I looked at what did I like about it, what did I not like about it, and I started putting together a better new avatar. If you've ever done a Bitmoji to um, create a little cartoon version of you, you get to pick, you know, how what your eyebrows and your eyes are like, how far apart, how far apart they are. Um, You get to pick the clothes and the hairstyle, all of those things to represent you. And that's what I started doing. I started realizing I like this size. I like the feel, the solid feel of the way the doors close on this one. I like the luxury of this one. I like the color of this one. I like the feel of these seats. Oh, and this, this steering wheel feels so luxurious to me. You know, so I started making my short list 
um, I didn't see anything that I was ready to put money down at that moment and went home and decided I really could use a couple days to make this decision because it was a big one. So I walked to the train station, took the train up to the airport and got a rental car. And it was so new, the rental car. It was, it had keyless, um, um, start. And so I couldn't figure out how to start the car. So I sat in the, I sat in the car and I read the manual and I thought, Oh my God, this is going to be such an upgrade to my software system as well. And, um, that was fun for me to learn and driving a new car that felt so smooth and solid. I just really enjoyed the feel of that rental car. And then as I kept driving other cars, I kept seeing, Oh, nope, this is too low to the ground. Don't like the feel of this. Um, I don't like looking out my rear view mirrors and all I can see are people's bumpers because I'm so low. I liked being sitting up a little bit higher and noticed which cars, um, the seats and the driver's wheels felt appropriate to me. And each time I drove a car and you get in and you adjust the seat and adjust the mirrors and adjust the radio and the temperature to fit, I think about how we do that with our bodies. You know, that we um, listen to our body and we think, okay, today I'm going to eat this because this is what my body wants. Today I want to drink a lot more water because I just did a lot of exercise and have had some emotional things I've been working through. Today I want to really celebrate and have something that's sweet, that tastes sweet and delicious. So we, the more we adjust our life to fit um, and adjust our body, to, to recognize and shine our true essence to the world, I think it's, it's um, a symbiotic relationship. You know, we feed the body, the body gives us back the pleasure. And that's what I was noticing with each car I drove, is I could customize it to make it me. Did it still feel like me? No. Or yeah. So I waited until I got the yes, the yeah, this one really feels good. And it wasn't the color I wanted. It was the one color that I purposely had said I didn't want to the salesperson. And <laughs> since I've actually bought the car, it's so funny because I realize I like it being this funny apple spring green. It's not silver like 50% of the cars out there and a couple of the cars I had driven, the rental cars in between time. It's not white like a lot of other cars, and it's starting to suit me. I like the uniqueness of it. So what I'm, my message today is all around when we upgrade our avatar, how we're showing up in the world. If we're really looking at where we're going, not even who I am right now, but where I'm going and thinking this will serve me, not just today, but into the future, it moves us into a bigger version of ourselves, a higher version of ourselves, a more expanded version of ourselves. And when we find the right vehicle to represent who we are and to help us shine, there's a synergy, right? I get to be more of me by shining through this unique car. I get to show up on a bigger level, on a um, more professional level, on a um, more true to me level. I'm not a mom anymore driving kids around. And I'm surely not going to be driving a van because I'm hauling things around for other people anymore. That was who I was. This is who I am now moving forward and learning how to use the Bluetooth and learning how to use the, the extended, um, you know, all of the different bells and whistles in it and how to it even tracks where I've parked it so I can remember if I'm in a big parking lot. Anyway, I'm, I'm so enjoying all the technology and the upgrades there. And I'm enjoying the upgrades. It feels what it feels like within me to be more of me. So where are you ready to upgrade? What's wanting to come through you and ready to be seen by the world. And it might just be by a new outfit or a new 
pair of shoes or a new haircut. And it also might be something really big, like a new job, a new business card, a new branding for your business, a new car, a new home. Um, Each of those helps to drive us forward in who we are becoming. And it is all about who we are becoming. It doesn't really have a lot to do with who we have been. That's part of our story. It's part of our makeup. But what we want to focus on is who we're becoming. So here's to becoming. Here's to growing into our next most expansive and amazing selves. Take excellent care till our next time together. Bye-bye.